again. We're back again. Um, hello everyone. This feels really alien. I haven't done this for like three years, so it's all rather. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm really sorry that I haven't been here for such a long time. There are quite a few excuses. <laughs> as usual um i'm going to try my hardest to be back a bit more regularly i probably won't post something like every week but um i do want to try and get back on here just because i've got a bit more time during the day now so i can actually um film a bit more for you guys so not that i've really got anything to talk about but um yes i have got a few bits to fill you in on with what's been going on you will keep shaking um i have bought a tripod slash ring light which i'm still trying to get to grips with and i'm crap with this sort of technology um i'm also trying to film with my phone this way rather than that way because when i used to film with my phone this way people were getting really irritated by me so i'm now trying to do it this way um let's do some quick fire updates because i think i can still only upload 15 minutes and i don't want to bore you all so probably the most exciting bit that i can kind of share with you guys and i keep flashing my hands about so you will have seen it i'm engaged again again that sounds really bad doesn't it i'm engaged so oh my God, look i don't know how to I don't know if it's going to focus on it or not. I don't think it will because it's a, I'm on an iPhone. But yeah, it's got skulls and the stone is just beautiful. I'm just trying to clean it. It's um, it shows all different colours. What I will do, I will um, insert a clip of the ring with the torch on it so that you can see the colors properly but it's got like purples and greens and it's just it's so pretty So yes, me and JJ are still together and we are engaged and we're getting married next year. The wedding is all booked. Um, I'm pretty much making everything. I've already got my dress. Um, the venue's booked. The registrar is booked. So it's all, yeah, it's happening. Um, I can, I will do, I'll do separate videos on all these topics that I'm going to kind of mention. This is just a, like a hello, I'm back kind of video so i'll do a a wedding I, i'm debating 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 doing wedding content if you guys want to see that because obviously i'm not going to have a traditional wedding i'm going to have an alternative wedding my wedding dress is black um so i might do like a series about how i'm making stuff and all that sort of thing so yes i'm engaged i have a new tattoo this is my bellatrix Lestrange tattoo and she's beautiful and I got her last September so I've had her what are we about nearly eight nine months and she's beautiful so now I've got both my ladies but yes so I've got a new tattoo um what else I passed my driving test so I had a little look back and um, in some of my very last videos, I was telling you how JJ used to take me to the fire station to practice driving in my car in Fessy. I don't have Fessy anymore. I've got Elvira now. Uh, Fessy was just too small for us. Um, but yes, I passed my driving test three years ago this September, which is, Bob's just shut himself in the kitchen, which is mental. Um, but yes, I'm on the road now. I hate driving, but I do it because i have to um what else life life wise hello <laughs> bob's so tall look how big he is 
Yeah, come here. Come here. Oh, he's Bob. Last time you guys would have seen him, he was like two. Hi. There's Amy, Amy's all grown up now, but um Hi. He's such a big boy now, aren't you? Can you see Bobby? <laughs> yeah, where's Bobby look? Can you see him? <laughs> so not long after um I stopped filming. I can't remember if we were in lockdown when I stopped filming or if the pandemic all hit after that. Um but during the pandemic Where are you going? <laughs> I'll come in a minute. Uh, during the pandemic, Bobby actually got diagnosed with autism and with global developmental delay. So global developmental delay basically means that in his mind, in his brain, he is younger than what he physically is. So when we got the diagnosis when he was two and a half, they estimated that in his mind he was around six months to 12 months last time we sort of spoke to his pediatrician they thought that he was around 18 months at the most he's now five um but mentally we think he's around two he is learning but because of his diagnosis he has got quite severe autism so it's been a journey it has been a really hard journey um and we've had to make a lot of adaption, adapt. Yeah. We've had to adapt a lot of things in our life to help him. Uh, for instance, he um, is, he should be in reception. He's still in nursery because he wasn't ready to progress. So September this year, when he should be going into year one, he's actually going into reception for the second year um things like that it's 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 been it's a journey we're still on and it's taken a long time to get to where we are but he's he's such a happy little boy he's healthy he's just he's just wonderful but obviously there are a lot of things that he doesn't do that stereotypically he should like he doesn't talk He's still in nappies. He still drinks from a bottle. Um, he can't feed himself. That sort of thing. I, I very much have to baby him. But he is very, very clever. He knows like his alphabet and his numbers and stuff. He can show you with cards and that. But autism has become a really, really big part of my life, which I am more than happy to talk more about. Um, we are also currently in the process for getting Immy diagnosed, which is something that I've been trying to do since she was like three. And I've been very, very brutally ignored, but we're finally starting to get somewhere with Immy. I am also on the waiting list to get a diagnosis because we've kind of traced it and it seems to have come through my family. Um, and when you kind of, when you, when you learn about autism, I've done two college courses on autism now. When you learn about it and you hear other people's stories and you look at things that like Bobby does, for example, and I can kind of relate back to my childhood and think, well, I did that or I did this and I had those traits and it makes you think. And I grew up in the 80s and 90s, so, you know, it wasn't as big a thing as what it is these days. So I'm also under diagnosis, um, but the process is long. The process is really long. But yeah, um, I think they're kind of the big updates that i have for you i don't think there's anything else that's quite a lot for you guys to kind of ingest in one welcome back video but this is why i haven't really been here because obviously we had the pandemic so the child minder that bobby used to go to couldn't have him anymore um and then we got his diagnosis and it all just kind of fell apart and it was all very very stressful and he was here all the time and then when he started going to nursery he'd only go for like one or two hours a day and he didn't go every day and I just I, I literally had no free time whereas now most of the time he is at school for normal normal school hours um he goes in a little bit later and he comes out a little bit earlier and I have to go and park at his school an hour before I'm due to pick him up because there's literally zero parking, which is ridiculous. But 
it means that I have around five hours a day where I'm home without the kids and I can kind of focus on things like this. Now, obviously, I still have to do boring stuff like, you know, housework and <laughs> just normal, typical jobs, go shopping, that sort of thing. But I do have a little bit more time now where I can kind of be like, right, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Maybe even a bit of TikTok. I'm trying to get into TikTok, but I'm really old and I don't understand it all. But... Um, yeah that's kind of my update and hello and welcome back and i would have filmed it before but i was waiting for my ring light to come i haven't got my ring light on right now obviously but i've got it i've got the phone in the stand i also wanted to wait until i got makeup on because i don't wear makeup every day anymore um and i thought i don't look too bad today let's do a video so yeah let me know what you want to see like I want to do more weight loss stuff because I've got the wedding coming up. I want to do wedding stuff. I want to do autism stuff. And I can just do general everyday life. I mean, I find it really interesting to watch videos of everyday lives of people with autistic children. Because you can kind of look and be like, oh, well, that happens with us. Or that doesn't happen. Oh, that's a good idea. So that is something I am going to quite heavily focus on. But I won't make all my content autism related because I do appreciate that not everybody is interested um you will have to excuse me a little bit i am going through some health things myself not just the autism but like i'm having problems with my speech with my brain sometimes my mouth will say something completely different to what my head is saying as you've already seen a couple of times in this video i also now have quite um severe anemia which is great fun so i'm on medication for that uh which means i can't drink uh, <laughs> because my head if I have like a shandy my body feels like I've had about six pints so I can't drink anymore so it's gonna be a fun wedding <laughs> um but yeah I'm I'm just happy to be back and it it feels really weird to be talking to a camera but it kind of feels normal because I've been doing it for so long and I'm I'm happy to be back so yeah anything you want to see let me know hello I hope you still subscribe to me. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long, but yeah. Life and kids are obviously more important and that's it, isn't it? But yeah, I hope that you guys are all good. I've missed talking to you all and I can't wait to see what you guys have all been up to in the comments. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you hopefully really soon, but I'm, I'm definitely back. I just don't know how regularly I'll be back, but yes, it's good to be home. Thanks guys, bye.